So one of E3's heavy hitting games has been delayed, and this is one of 2K Games' biggest games that they were basically going to announce. Well, we don't know if they were going to announce it at this E3 or if it was going to basically be one for 2019's E3, but I mean, there was a lot of speculation that this year would be the year we would finally see something about it. This highly anticipated game is most likely Borderlands 3. It could be another game, but I don't really honestly know of another game coming out of 2K or Take 2 that is more anticipated anticipated than Borderlands 3. At least one that is slated for, you know, reveal or release within like the next two years. Because keep in mind, Take-Two is also the parent company of Rockstar Games. And I would think GTA 6 is probably a little bit more um, hyped than Borderlands 3 is. That's just because of the mass appeal of Grand Theft Auto games. If you've never played a Borderlands game, it's actually one of my favorite uh, video game series of all time. It's, it's just amazing. The story is not only so deeply interwoven and written very well. There's also really funny and humorous moments throughout the entire thing, and the gameplay is just awesome. The guns are just always one of a kind because of how the game generates them. There's like literally billions, if not like trillions of different combinations that the game can generate. But I for one was really hopeful it was going to be announced this year. I mean, we already have had the art demo through IGN. That was like, I think last March that that came out and it looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. And something within that tech demo that I really think we should talk about real quick is he says something about how when we explore other planets, which if you've played Borderlands before this, this is something. Borderlands 2 was a really massive game, there were so many different areas to explore, but if we're getting to the point now where we can literally just explore new planets and it's just so many different planets that we can actually explore, that actually might explain why they're taking so much time to get this game out, because keep in mind Borderlands 2 did come out in 2012, I think? Yeah, I just looked it up, September 18th of 2012, it was probably one of my favorite games of all time, and I think many of you who have played it can say the same thing. So Borderlands 3 is almost guaranteed to be the biggest, best Borderlands experience we've ever gotten, and the idea of being able to not only just explore a massive map, but be able to do that on multiple planets, if not this infinite array of planets, some of which randomly generate, some of which are interwoven into the story so you can't really randomly generate it, at least not that I would be able to understand. It sounds like the better part of no no Man's Sky. I hate going down this trail because that game was such a disappointment, but if we're getting down to the point where we can quite literally just explore all these different planets, they randomly generate with enemies and cool things to explore, like little mini cities and like bases and stuff like that. Regardless, Borderlands 3 is probably gearing up to be a game of the year candidate, if not game of the year whenever it comes out. The game was previously scheduled to launch during fiscal year 2019, which runs April 2018 through March 2019, so technically we're in fiscal year 2019 right now. I, I don't really understand all this shit too well. I think all this fiscal year and business day stuff is just a bunch of outdated terms that, you know, we should just be abandoning, because, I mean, honestly, the common people don't really understand this stuff. I think we should just start going to something a little bit more universally understood. It's now planned to launch in fiscal year 2020, which is April 2019 through March 2020, which means if this is Borderlands 3 that they're talking about, which it's pretty much guaranteed to be, we could see it from any time through next year before E3, which would be weird because that would just mean they lose out on a bunch of marketing, probably the biggest marketing that they could truly get. Or it could be launched even early into 2020, which right now is le just a little bit less than two years away, but I don't know about you guys, I'm completely okay with the idea of them holding this game back at least another year, maybe even two, if it means that they're going to bring us a bigger, better, and just overall more polished and enjoyable game. I mean, I wish more games did that, especially other shooter games like Call of Duty. I wish, you know... There's issues with those games that don't really get fixed before release, and the games suffer because of that, and if they just held the games back, I wouldn't even be mad. Like, Rockstar does this all the time. Rockstar is one of those companies that might actually push a game's release date back three or four times just to make sure that the game literally has everything that it needs at launch and is the best game that they can provide. And this usually provides better games because, I mean, they have more time to develop the game, they have more time to add in new things and polish old things, they have more time to fix bugs and stuff that way that we don't have all those stupid like 
first day patches and stuff that come out. Take-Two said that the team did need more development time and that they remain as excited as ever about the title and they expect it to enhance their results next fiscal year. Of course, remember they are talking to their shareholders and people who have invested in the company when they say this. Now, something about this that I think is really interesting is when it says that they actually say that there is some amount of marketing spend for this new game during the current fiscal year. So, that suggests, at least to GameSpot, who I'm reading this article from, that the game will be announced before March 2019. 2K is attending E3 next month, so one possibility is that the game will be revealed there. Actually, that makes a little bit more sense. If Borderlands 3 is announced this year and they say, you know, the game is not coming out until, you know, 2019, 2020, I'm not even about to be mad about it because the game is hopefully going to be super good. I mean, I haven't played a Borderlands I haven't liked. I... That's not true. I, I didn't really I didn't really enjoy the pre-sequel too much. I thought it was a little bit stupid. I guess there are some similarities between some possibilities in Borderlands 3 and the pre-sequel, but I figure that maybe Borderlands 3, since it's basically a main game, will hopefully be a lot better. So keep in mind, they're basically saying that they could be marketing this game between now and March 2019. Actually, that they are planning to spend some marketing between now and March 2019. So that basically means we will be at least seeing an announcement, a reveal, maybe a trailer, something about the game within like the next pretty much year. And we have been waiting for something like that for, you know, almost, well at that time it'll be probably about seven, eight years depending on when they actually decide to announce, reveal, because, I mean, plans change all the time in the gaming industry. Maybe they won't end up doing any marketing spend. Maybe they have to push the game back even further. I mean, if you think about it, pushing the game back farther, especially with, like, the whole planets thing and, like, how deep and intricate a Borderlands game is, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you've never played a Borderlands game, it's not... It's not like a Call of Duty campaign when I say that there's a story. It's not like a Battlefield campaign or anything like that. There are quite literally like dozens if not hundreds of side quests. There's dozens if not over a hundred main story missions. Then there's like five or six DLCs that add like 20 to 30 new missions. If you get like Game of the Year editions or if you have like the Handsome Jack collection or anything like that, you might literally have dozens of hours of gameplay. And that's if you don't decide to just stick around after you've completed literally every Everything in the game and just screw around. That's one thing that I enjoy so much about the Borderlands series. You know, you're paying $60 for a game that you will literally just get days, if not weeks, of enjoyment out of. And not only do you have all of this stuff to enjoy in the game, but it's actually pretty replayable. I don't know about you, but I could probably play Borderlands 2 all the way through dozens of times and not get bored once. Sometimes you miss things during the first go-through. I mean, that's kind of typical for any games campaign. You miss things through the first playthrough, but Borderlands is just so intricate. The story is so interwoven. It's so well-written and designed. There's so many Easter eggs, like the Minecraft Easter egg that they added into Borderlands 2. And then you have things like Face McShooty, who literally is just a non-hostile person who screams for you to shoot him in the face. He actually offers a mission for shooting him in the face in Borderlands 2. Face not move! Brains everywhere! Not the knee! Not the arm! Not the spine! Face! It has to happen! Facey face, face, face! Tired of waiting! No more waiting! Need a face shot! Boom! Squish! Yay! Shoot me in the face! In the face! Do it! Shoot me in the face! Face, 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 face! Thank you! Anyways, Take-Two has been talking about this highly anticipated sequel for a long time now, and it has never been officially announced. And the speculation, of course, is around Borderlands 3 or whatever the next title in the series will be called. But we do know that a new Borderlands game is in development. And the president said that the game might not be at E3, but he did leave himself wiggle room in the statement. One other game that it quote-unquote could be would be Bioshock. But when you hold this up, I mean, Borderlands is just one of the most anticipated games regardless. Not even just out of 2K's games, but Borderlands 2 is a classic game. And the fact that Borderlands 3 is confirmed, but we haven't heard anything revealed about it has just gotten so many people, you know, just excited. Borderlands 3 has to be the game they're talking about. It is a highly anticipated series sequel it has not been really officially announced and honestly it's about that time we finally got a new borderlands game anyways thank you guys for watching um i want to go ahead and give you guys two little updates i know you guys
guys have maybe noticed this, but all my videos in the future will now be 60 FPS, 1080p. I went ahead and bought an Elgato so I can record PS4 gameplays too, and you know, as you saw in this video, it was Black Ops 3 because I didn't have any Borderlands footage, but anyways. So the videos are going to be better quality. It's not only going to be PC games that are in 60 FPS, thankfully, so I know a lot of you have been asking about that. I went ahead and made that, you know, purchase, and yeah, I just decided it was about time to do so. And on top of that, I want to let you guys know about the upload schedule because I'll probably have a lot more videos out more frequently because I'm starting college here in a few days, but it's online courses, so I'm wrapping up a lot of my associate's degree moving towards a master's degree online, so I'll have a lot more time outside of that to go ahead and work on videos because obviously I'm not spending like four hours a day in lecture, and also I'm not spending like seven and a half hours a day at high school anymore because I just graduated, so I'll have more time on my hands to go ahead and make YouTube videos, so I'm kind of expanding the schedule to any day that I really have a topic or anything I really want to talk about. There's going to be a lot of Call of Duty, Battlefield, Borderlands, hopefully, if they announce it at E3. E3, all kinds of videos coming up soon, guys. This is probably going to be one of the best times for the channel here in Summer 18, all Summer 18, as Drake would say, because there's just going to be so many good videos coming out. There's going to be a lot of good topics to talk about E3 is coming up. Battlefield 5 is being revealed in a few days. Black Ops 4's beta will be coming out. I'll have more thoughts on that. You guys seem to be pretty split on my opinion on the game so far. So there's just so much going on. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter for memes, thoughts, and updates. And join the Discord below. Subscribe to my gaming channel for occasional bonus content there. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus waiting on Borderlands 3 and signing out.